Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production. I have another video answering someone's question. Someone asked me about Invocoder, which I did a video on a little while ago. But today they wanted to ask me what the different modes do. I didn't really cover it in that video. To be honest, I don't use the different modes that often, but I'm going to show you what they do today in case you're interested. So the first one we have is just this vocoder mode. I think you probably understand what it does. This is a test of Invocoder modes. Here you can see how the different modes work. Okay, so you can hear that. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I have a signal like this. This is a test of it's just me talking. And then on the other channel, I have this. Put them together, they make that. Turn this back on. Oh, I'll turn this down. And so the next mode we have is vocoder dual. And here it kind of explains it here. This mode is similar to vocoder mode, except however, the ratio controls the amount of reverse process signal modulator multiplied by the envelope of the carrier. This mostly sounds about the same, but I'll move through the ratio just so you can hear it. This is a test of Invocoder modes. Here you can see how the different modes work. Just listen and you'll be able to see what the differences are between the different modes. As compared to this. This is a test of Invocoder modes. Here you can see how the different modes work. Just listen and you'll be able to see what the differences are between the different modes. So you can hear in the normal vocoder one, it's really just going between those synth chords and the vocoded sound. Uh, this one I don't think sounds as good when you use the ratio, whereas this one, even when you start moving it down like this. This is a test of M vocoder modes. Here you can see how the... I'm still not hearing that, you know, chord sound there, which to me just sounds better. Um, but you can use whichever one you feel is better for your project. That's what the dual version does. The morph here is just kind of like a blend between these. Modes. Here you can see. Now this will probably sound better if I maybe move up or down the bands. This is a test of vocoder modes. Here you can see how the different modes are. And you'll be able to see what the differences are between the different modes. So that's the morph. It's fairly basic. It just moves between the two signals like that. Uh, morph 2 is pretty much the same. Vocoder modes. Here you can see how the different modes work. What the differences are between the different modes. In this case, my speaking signal is much lower in volume than my chord, so it's not exactly even here, but if it was even, it should sound about the same. But as you can see here, you can quickly blend between two different sounds like that fairly easily. So that's the morph mode, morph one and two. I have some slight differences, but they're fairly similar. The ring modulation, I think this one is a really cool addition. All this does is it adds ring modulation or amplitude modulation. So this is going to multiply the, actually, is it multiply or is it, I think it's just add the frequencies together of the two signals. Uh, so it'll sound a little bit strange, but I'll let you hear it. This is a test of in vocoder modes. Here you can see how the different modes work. Just listen and you'll be able to see in this case, it sounds like Mickey Mousing. I think that's due to just uh, these two signals being added together just creates a high sound. Um, let me see if I change the bands. Let's see if that changes anything. I actually haven't tried that myself. This is a test of vocoder modes. Here you can see how the different modes work. Just listen, and you'll be able to see what the differences are between the different modes. I think that's actually fairly interesting. You can probably do some interesting effects with that. Uh, especially you can move this down. I probably need to put some EQ on it, but to create kind of like a, almost like a monster sound or create like a child sound by moving it up. So that's the ring modulation. I think it'd probably also sound really good if you put something like a synth and a guitar or something through there to create some ring modulated sound. I think that's a cool one. 
Excited, exciting is very similar to uh, what you get from the vocoder. The only difference is the vocoder is your uh, the carrier signal is multiplied by the envelope of the modulator. Uh, this one mode amplifies the band's dominant in both carrier and modulator signals. So this one is basically it's going to whatever frequencies are loud, it's going to boost those, and the ones that are soft, it's kind of I don't know, but attenuate them, I guess. So let's listen to it. I'm probably going to have to turn the volume on up on this too. So that's what that does. You know, it's called exciting. It's not so exciting for me. Uh, the last two we have are the inversion. Now, these are like the vocoders in reverse. So the vocoders, they basically uh, only amplify the signals that both uh, sources have. Whereas this only amplifies the signals that neither have, uh, or the other one doesn't have in this case. So my speaking one, the frequencies that aren't there in the speaking aren't going to be amplified. They're going to be uh, it's reduced. So I'll let you hear this. It almost sounds like a vocoder anyways. But I'll play this. I'll probably have to move up the volume for this. <laughs> Probably like, okay, I barely hear anything. So this one is a little bit hard to hear. If I move the bands down, you'll hear more. It almost sounds like pumping when I'm speaking. Uh, you can get a little bit more prominent by raising the volume here. So I'll try to raise this into hopefully you can hear it better. So that's another mode you have. I probably wouldn't use that, but that could be useful for some sound design you know, applications and things. So those are all the modes. The dual one is just about the same. I'll let you listen to the difference. And this one is just like the vocoder dual. And inversion. work just so that's the difference between inversion and inversion dual i think it's pretty straightforward so hopefully that gave you a good idea of the different modes in invocoder if it did give me a thumbs up if you still have any other questions leave those down below and be sure to check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com till next time see you